Hello, it's Nicole Teacher from Empire English, and today we are going to talk about the word die. I know that's a very sad word and a sad topic, death, but I need to point out a grammar mistake that I hear quite often when people are using the word die. The mistake that I always hear people saying is, he was died, or he is died. That is using the be verb together with the word die, or died, which is also a verb. So to die is a verb, it's not an adjective. Now I will tell you the correct way to say these things when you are discussing death. A very simple explanation is that to die is the verb, dead is the adjective, and death is a noun. What you want to say is he died or he passed away. It's much more respectful and sensitive to say that someone passed away. That is the expression you should be using, referring to a person's passing. Sometimes you hear a person just say he passed or she passed, and then you have to kind of figure out if they mean they passed away. We don't often just say he died so bluntly because it's a little bit cold of a feeling to just say, oh, he died. To lose someone often means that the person is no longer in your life because they passed away. So most of the time when you hear, I lost my grandfather or I lost my wife, something like that, usually it means the person has passed away. And that is another way that is sensitive to say that, um, he lost his wife. Now sometimes you will hear that when it was not referring to death. They might be hiking in the woods and they lose a person. They can lose a person from their team at work or lose an employee. However, to lose someone is usually to death. So you might hear the sentence, I lost my grandfather two years ago, or my grandfather passed away two years ago, or my grandfather is no longer with us. That's another common expression, is no longer with us. That's usually referring to someone who has died, but you might hear that at a company saying he's no longer with us. At a company, usually that's the only other time I can think of where you might just say they're no longer part of a group. Now, when you do hear the be verb used is when it is happening in the moment, like he is dying or he was dying. So for example, I can say the man was dying and the nurse gave him some medicine for the pain. I don't want to go into the grammar explanation too much. I don't want to get into all of the grammar terms. But when something's happening in the moment, that is when you often hear the be verbs. Is, was, are, were, am, things like that. And side note, I am dying is often used just to mean you're suffering, like, oh, it's so hot out here, I'm dying. Or sometimes when somebody finds something very funny and they say, oh my God, I'm dying. I don't know. <laughs> That's just a side little note. That term, it's, it's lightly used and we uh, maybe shouldn't be using that word. I don't know. Now the word dead, I want you to avoid saying that because that can feel especially cold. You do want to avoid saying he's dead or she's dead because that's more focused on 
after the death. That's more focused on after the person has passed away. And that's really just makes you think of a dead body. That's describing the condition of their body. It is an adjective and you can use the be verb with it. You can say he is dead or he was dead, but you would only use that word in special circumstances like when the police found him, he was dead. There are not many situations where you would want to use the term dead referring to a person, uh, especially someone who you care about or you love. I know in America, very often people say, I'm going to kill you or, oh my God, I'm going to kill him. Now, when I say that lightly in other countries or I hear that said in other countries, sometimes people are like, what? You know, what? You're going to kill the person. And therefore, I realize that it's not uh, commonly known. That just means like, ah, I'm so angry. And it, you're not really going to do anything. You're not going to kill anyone, but it is just a term that is used very often. You will hear it in movies said quite often. I wish that we could just talk about happy topics and words that make you feel good all the time, but I do want to cover all of the mistakes that I hear said by English learners and therefore I hope that I helped you out with this word today. If you would like some more tips, subscribe below or join my membership at NicoleTeacher.com. Lots of love to you and your family, Nicole Teacher.